What's up all you shark maniacs out there? I hope everybody had a wonderful Christmas. I'm Mo, I'm the Bearded Shark. If you haven't already, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on Instagram if you haven't already. I do different content on there as well, all beard related most of the time. But today, I'm gonna give you guys my top beard bombs. All these beard bombs are stronger hold. I consider a beard balm to be strong. Like it's, if you, if you can dip your finger in there, it's not considered a beard balm to me. More of the line of a beard butter. So I like stronger holding beard balms to keep my beard intact and placed nice and neat. I do sport a little bit of a shorter beard, as you guys can see. I trimmed it up for the holidays. Um, so I do need beard balm to keep it, you know, in place. So today let's take a look at my top beard balms. So I'm going to rank them for you guys from five through one. And I'm also going to have two honorable mentions in there as well. A little bit softer than the other five, but they do work very well in my beard when I'm having a semi decent beard day and I really don't have, or really don't need anything or much to hold it. So let's go ahead and start off with the honorable mentions. Uh, we're going to start off with the Bearded Fox. The Bearded Fox has a really nice creamy beard balm. I would say it is a medium hold. If my beard is already looking good and all that, it does a good job keeping it in spot. Um, I would say it's more on the flirting side of the medium hold. So if you're looking for something creamier and not as hard to emulsify or break down, um, I would go with the Bearded Fox or I would go with the Whiskey and Hardtack. I've been using this more lately. I have it in the icebreaker and I just bought it in the um, Greenhorn, which is an unscented formula. It says it's a coarse uh, formula, so it, it does it does work good. I would say it's on the medium side as well. Um, it is creamy, so it's not hard to break down. It's not hard to uh, work out of your beard. So um, if you're one of the types that are looking for something that's going to give you a nice hold, but not be an act of congress for it to come out of your beard so if you don't like using like um, a strip and wash and all that those two are really good medium hold creamy beard balms let's start off with number five number five is going to be coming in at lone bear beards lone bear beards is a nice beard balm um i just read i haven't reviewed them yet but they sent me a couple of stuff and it does work very well. Now, keep in mind one through or four through two um, or five through two. I'm sorry. They typically work almost the same. Um, nothing spectacular about them except that, you know, one of them just may last longer in the beard and all that. And it really depends how you wear your beard balm. And I'll explain to that a little bit later in the video on how I wear my beard bombs. So number five is um, Lone Bear. And you can hear that little rattling. And to me, that rattling means that it's a strong holding bomb. Again, you know, this is a little bit going to be hard to work with. You're going to use your fingernail. You may have to use a pick, but it breaks down easily. It says it's a medium hold, but I say it's more of like a, it's flirting on the strong, uh, strong hold. And this is in the Santa Bear a scent which is smells like snickerdoodle really good so coming in at number five is uh lone bear beards all right coming in at number four is the luxurious bastard and uh, out of all of them this is probably going to be um the hardest when i say about that it's hard the hardest to break down it's more like a beard wax to me um this is in the original scent which is like a uh barbershop scent i do have it in a um, unscented as well so i can wear with those things this one's a little bit harder to break down this one is the hardest out of all five of them um and i can't really use a moisturizing beard wash to get it out of it i usually typically wear this whenever i know i'm going to use a stripping wash for that week right or for that day because i want it all out of my beard um packed with great ingredients and Pack with strength that comes in at number four, Luxurious Bastard. Alrighty, coming in at number three. Now, this is a newer company. Um, they came out this year, and that is Barker Beards. Barker Beards makes a really nice beard balm. Now, with this one, it is yellow, so it's a little bit different color. And um, I don't really use this much because I don't have it in Unscented, and I only used it like four or five times with the oil, which is the Caribbean. It smells fantastic. It's more of a like a summertime scent. 
And as you guys know, in the summertime, I did uh, shave my beard off so I can regrow it for you guys and all that. But I have used it recently and it smells fantastic and it works really good. And this is more on the flirting on the hard hold, but it's on the medium hold as well. Um, it does take a little bit um, more work to actually get it out of your beard if you're trying to wash it out and all that. But it does a great job on holding the beard um, and keeping it in place all day. Again, coming in at number three is Barker's Beards. Now, coming in at number two is a company that I've always spoke about. Um, I know a lot of you guys have tried them, and they've rebranded as well. It was my number one beard balm for the longest time until I tried another beard balm uh, recently this year, and um, that is JC Grooming. JC Grooming makes a fantastic beard balm. This is a strong hold. This balm right here is going to last you a long time i'm not a big i'll be honest with you guys i'm not a big fan of his scents i like his beard balm and i'm waiting for the unscented line to come out so i can grab a hold of the unscented balm so i can use it it's creamy it's hard it's you know you really got to dig in there and um but it really breaks down fairly easy and but it does take a little bit longer to wash out and all that good stuff but um if you're looking for a strong beard balm like a stronghold beard balm, definitely check out JC Grooming coming in at number two. So before we talk about uh, the number one, which we'll get to that, of course, but so how I typically wear my beard balm is, you know, my beard is very curly and unruly, especially when it gets in the awkward stage. If I decide to grow it out, you know, sometimes it's just like, wow, this looks amazing. But sometimes like no matter what I do, I just got to keep applying heat and balm, heat and balm. And, um, you know, un unfortunately, not all of us have a great beard where we don't need balm. I need balm. I know some of you guys do because I get a lot of messages of people asking me, what's a good beard balm to use? Um, so how I typically apply it is I put in oil, obviously, and then I put heat on it. I, um, I comb it in different directions. It depends if I'm using a heated brush. I try to get it in different directions, trying to stretch and strengthen uh, and straighten the hairs as much as possible. But if I'm using a blow dryer, I put the oil in there, let it dry or let it sit for a little bit. And then I blow dry my beard all the way up straight and then I bring it down. And then I take a little bit of beard balm. So let's say I'm using JC Grooming. I'm not going to scoop some out, but I'm going to take some out. I'm going to melt it. And then I'm going to put it all in my beard because, again, it's not only the outside of my beard that is um, unruly and curly. It's all in my beard. So I get it as much as I can. And then I do it again. I go all the way up, you know, blow dry it all the way up with a comb or a brush, whatever you want to do. And then I bring it down. And then so it depends on how um, short or long my sides are. Right now, I don't need much beard balm, obviously, on my sides. I still need some to keep it in place. But then I apply a little bit more beard balm and then I just take my hand and then I just brush it down. And then I take a Kent comb or whatever comb you like using and then I just use the fine teeth and I comb it down and then I blow dry down to give it like a more of a natural look. So that's how I use my beard balm. Now the number one beard balm that I use that works the best for my beard and it works very well and I don't find it very hard to wash out and if you guys watched my video earlier in the year, you guys know I said, now companies, if you're looking at how making a beard balm, you may want to reach out to Honyaker because he makes a badass beard balm. I really like Honyaker's beard balm. He makes an excellent beard balm. Look, listen to that rattle. Um, it's, it's a hard beard balm, but it's not hard at all. Oh man, this is in the elder smell too, and it smells really good. It's not hard at all to break down. It just it, it just goes very well in the beard. Man, it's nice and creamy. Not only does it do a good job on holding it in place, but it does a great job on conditioning conditioning the beard as well. And then um, when it comes to washing it out, man, it just seems like, hey, it just talks to itself. It's like, okay, guys, you know, we've done our job today. Mo's washing his beard out, so let's make sure that it's, it's time for us to disappear. That's how I feel about his beard balm. Works very well in beard. Um, does a great job in holding my beard. I don't feel like I have to reapply it during the day. Um, you know, it doesn't like just lose its strength or anything like that. Hanyaker over there makes a fantastic beard balm. So if you guys are looking for a great beard balm, 
Now, all these, the ones that I mentioned are great beard balms, um, especially and obviously in my honorable mentions as well, because, you know, sometimes I don't want such a hard um, or a strong beard balm, just something enough where like, oh, okay, let's keep it enough where it keeps away or it tames most of the flyaways. Um, but these all, all these beard balms are amazing. Number one, number two, three, four, five, all of them are great. Obviously, there's more beard bombs out there, but they ain't approved unless it's shark approved. And these right here, they've been shark approved. But that's all I got for you guys today. I hope everybody had a wonderful, wonderful Christmas. Um, I'll see you guys before next year as well. And um, everybody stay bearded. Duh.